ghostly voices stay in this place. Oh, ho there! Would you happen to know why the bridge is up? Sir? Don't! Oh. Uh. Could people not stop murdering each other for one bloody minute? And put us out of work? They almost welcome the change at this point. Come on. The body would have floated downstream. Watch out. Spectre possession. Letters for Fort Jericho. There's your new job. Now you're a postman. Nah, not for me. Too dangerous. found our victim. A very broken strong box, empty of its train band payroll. Our messenger was also carrying money, and it's gone. Other boy finished the job. And robbed him blind. A dead messenger, a missing payroll, and a single name. We know two scudders, don't we? We do. And one of them isn't the sharpest knife in the bag. 
No pun intended. Good day, Nelly. All the better for your presence, Mr. McRae. Thank you for your time, Mrs. Eaton. Thank you for your interest, Mr. McRae. Good day to you. And what can I do for you, sir? I'll take my leave. Farewell, Banisher. This would be a better book if it had pictures in it. Better still if I knew how to read. <laughs> Your Lordship? Oh, Red. Mr. Scudder. Is your cousin around? I've not seen him in a while. Maybe he's gone to the woods, the safe part. He does that. What does he do in the woods? Checking his traps, I suppose. Not that there's much game. I wish he wouldn't leave me.
A messenger went missing. And the trail leads here. The trail? What kind of trail? Oh, that kind of trail. Was he killed? Who killed him? Who could have? No. He couldn't have. He wouldn't. He couldn't. Would he? Did he? By he, do you mean your cousin? Beloved, I. But he couldn't. He's nothing like that. He's a good un. I'll need to search your house. I... Yes, yes, of course, if you think it important. I'll go take a look at your house now. If there's anything I can do to help, I'm here. By not pointing the finger, he pointed the finger. What does he know? Beloved's father was a killer on the run, on his way to New Eden. A bad man, but a good father? Seems unlikely. Beloved fears himself doomed to repeat his father's mistakes. He probably will. The apple falls close to the tree. There's nothing more to find here. Huh? You frying Scots busybody! Who died and made you constable? Easy now, Scudder. Your cousin gave me permission to come in. Credence means everything he says. And thinks everyone else does too. What do you want? I'm investigating a haunting. Your haunting, as a matter of fact. I don't yet know whose ghost it is, but it'll have good reason to linger. I've seen your work. I've seen the bodies. Take your investigation and get out of my house. No need to be so defensive. What are you hiding, Mr. Scudder? I... N no you're trying to bewilder me. Out with you, out of my house. A man is dead, Scudder. His life ended, his body pillaged and buried in a shallow grave. That's not... That's nothing to do with... No, leave me be, you can't do this to us. From your demeanor, I'm guessing it was your first time. Killing a man, I mean. It... No! I dare not! I can't! I... No! Please! Go! Enough! What foe retribution is this? Son. Oh, oh no! They hanged the old man! They hanged old Jed! The light is doomed! I too shall swing! You must be the boy's father. My son is innocent. I'm Antea Duarte, and this is Red McWraith. We are banishers. Look to Credence. What do you want, Ghost? Why have you come? Beloved is my boy. Yes, we get that. Good of you to visit. Why have you come? We lived in Bristol. Barely. Shared a leaky room with other lodgers. All were ill all the time. My wife deserved better. We all did. 
I gathered every shilling I could and sent the boy, his mother and his cousin, to the colonies. Beloved's my son, and now he's grown. I'll make sure he straightens up. What happened to his mother? Mary were with child when she set sail for New Eden. She refused to raise another baby and bloody breast up. Neither of them survived that first winter. Beloved and Credence were left alone. I sent my family away to give them better lives. I failed. But not all is lost. I can yet save my son from the corruption of his wily cousin Credence. It takes a burden to catch a burden, and that's how I know Credence is vicious. He has a hiding place in the woods. There, you'll find the proof. Where, exactly? How shall we know this hiding place? There's a small wood cabin, but well hid, west of here. On the heights. I wouldn't cabin hidey hole. West, got it. What of Credence? Why do you believe him bad? He was a hellion as a baby. And no mistake. Especially after his mum and dad died. And we took him in. I thought him an odd child. But he were happy with my Mary and sweet too. She loved him. He's a bad one, and probably always was. He hides it better than any rogue, just as he hides the sharpness of his wit. Why send him to New Eden, then? Mary thought to take the boys as far from Bristol as she could go. In the colonies, so went her thinking, she could raise two good and honest men. But without her guiding hand, tis clear that Credence bent, beloved, crooked. Can you be sure beloved is innocent? He doesn't seem to believe it himself. He has my blood. But he has his mother's too. And she were good. He has her heart. I know, my son, he's no killer. We'll investigate Credence's hideout then. Make our own minds up. I speak the truth. You'll see it. Beloved just learned of his father's death. Maybe we should go to him before searching Credence's hide. Someone's lying. Maybe everyone's lying. And Jed's ghost is at once benign and hostile. He's dead. He's really dead. They hanged him, didn't they? Aye, they did. Condolences. Keep him. Jed was a bad father and a bad man. The world's a better place without him. Am I haunted by his ghost? You tell me. Why would the ghost of your criminal father appear now? Why would he blame Credence? You're the Banisher. You ask him. Better yet, you send him away. Jed suggested we have a word with Credence. Any idea where he might be? You shouldn't listen to my old man. He was not with us, never was. Leave Credence. Be. My cousin didn't. He's not. Look, if there's bad blood, it is mine. I'm evil to the marrow. A man who stands up for his kin can't be all bad. What does it matter if badness is in his blood? Do what you must. I'll not run. I'll face my fate, whatever it may be. Did you kill the messenger? I... We... It, in my dreams, I see him drowning. His death weighs heavy upon me. 
I wish to think of him no more. Forget it. Forget the whole thing. I will, if I can. Strange that Beloved talked of the drowning, but not the stabbing. Either way, he fears he is a killer like his father. Perhaps it's not too late. He may yet avoid his father's fate. Well then, we'll find Credence's forest hiding hole and learn what's what. Fine day for a walk, sir. Good day to you, your lordship. What brings you to the woods, Credence? A walk, sir, in the peace and quiet. You seem uneasy. Something on your mind? Tell the truth. I've not felt too well of late. Aye, being haunted can do that to you. Tell me this, Credence. Of all people, why would Uncle Jed haunt you? Jed Scudder? Uncle Jed haunts me? What? How? Why? Wait. Uncle Jed? He accuses you of corrupting his son. Jed Scudder. Uncle Jed haunts me for being a bad influence. Uncle Jed calls me a bad influence. Should I worry? What can I do? Help me. Take care. He'd like you to have an accident. Don't help him make it happen. I'm a good man, sir. Don't let evil old Jed Scudder kill me. I'll try, Mr. Scudder. I'll try. A good day to you, Mr. Scudder. God grant you the same, sir. There's a cabin up on that bluff there. Credence's hide, perhaps. Change targets. Tormented first. Credence knew that Jed was hanged. He kept the news from Beloved. He was surprised by Jed's accusation, but not that Jed was dead. Was he manipulating Beloved? Seems that way. Nice view. It covers all the main approaches. for a man who can't read. Wasn't the train band to be paid in silver? A plantation in the West Indies. Planned down to the purchase price. We've learned enough. Jed was right. Credence is cleverer than he pretends. He reads and writes and plans ambitious plans. A plantation needs a lot of coin. The silver connects him to the payroll robbery. 
And to the murder. The manipulative little shite. We need to talk to the Scudder boys. They're arguing. See if you can eavesdrop. We must confess. Beg for mercy. I will not, Han. I can't carry the burden. <laughs> you can. And you will. Soon we'll put it behind us. New Eden. Everything. I cannot put it behind me. I bashed a man's brains in. I must fess it. No. I'll say you stabbed Askell's man and killed you in self-defense. As the father, so the son, they'll say, as they hang your corpse. No. What the? <gasps> Jed, no one move, including you, Jed. Thank God you're here, Mr. McRae. Nobody bloody talk either, until we sort this out. What are you waiting for? Are you not going to take care of that ghost? Credence, you knew the postman was stabbed. How did you know it? Huh? I... What are you talking about? I knew it. I never mentioned it. Surely you did. You must have. Credence. The Scudder Boy. The Scudder Boy plays the fool. Plays us all for fools. Sir, you have it wrong. I swear it. You needed money for your plantation in the West Indies. When the postman passed with a payroll, you took your chance. Beloved was not given to violence, so when he fled the scene, you followed the man and finished him off. You let Beloved believe himself guilty, but the plan was yours from start to finish. The dead man's blood is on your hands. But I never... Well, wouldn't you? You're no angel. You're no sheriff, neither. So what are you gonna do about it? Credence. How? Oh, don't act the startled fawn, beloved. You're up to your neck in this, too. Credence Scudder, you and your cousin are haunted by the ghost of your Uncle Jed. That ends now. Jedediah Scudder, though you may worry for your son, it's time to let him go. Beloved's mistakes are his own. With luck, he'll make fewer. My son, you will always be that brown-eyed boy looking up at me. That boy is dead and done and gone. I did my best. I have loved you. I know this now. Goodbye, Jed. You have no more reason to stay. Now, 
if you don't mind. I need a private word with my cousin. <laughs> this should be good. I've no wish to be around for that. Let's go.